You know, there is nothing like hitting the open road, seeing an old friend, and making a new one at the same time. Now, in this case, I'm back at the Pioneer Saloon in Good Springs, Nevada, but there's a new sheriff in town. His name is Nate, and he's got his own perspective on this classic spot. Uh, my name is Nate Kelp here at the Pioneer Saloon and I'm the new general manager. The first time I walked through here, I think we were about 10, 10 12 years ago. And actually how it started was a couple buddies just had some razors and it started as, hey, let's go take a little road trip and let's go out to this, this old bar. Okay, let's get into it and do it. So drive out here, we pretty much, a lot of people from Vegas, we drive out from the Blue Diamond Saloon. It's about a 15 mile ride out here. So, you know, get 45 minutes out here. We got out here and still didn't know what to expect. But uh, being from the Midwest, when I walked in, it, it definitely had the, the old style, the old feel, you know, kind of the country. You almost kind of felt like it, the, the, the stuff on the floor was from the early 1900s. You just had that, the feeling or the smell. And for me personally, it was, it really reminded me actually of, of being back in the Midwest and back at home. And I, it, was, it was a really a comfortable feeling that you get out here. It's, even though you, it's so old, you feel a part of it. And I think that's the really exciting part out here. This place is pretty old, it's 107 years old. Uh, 1913 is when this place was actually, uh, when it was here. And this town, or this bar, was one of the main watering holes for just Good Springs and Gene. And this was literally kind of fed Vegas back in the day. There was about 4,000 people out here. And Vegas, back in the day, probably, you know, let's call it 50. And this was literally kind of, you needed anything, supplies. You actually came out here and vice versa from Vegas. So this was the spot. When you come out here every day, you, you know, you open up the doors, you do feel like you're taken back in time. I think that is the biggest thing. There's, there's just something about here that it's no longer Vegas. You really are in your own world out here. This is just what I really like. It's, I almost feel like you, you know the old school things that are out here. And I think that's really exciting. It, it definitely puts you, it puts you back a little bit. It's fun. Yeah, I, I don't want to change the, what's really just worked for 107 years out here at the Pioneer Saloon. It's, I think that's important. It, it is really kind of timeless. It's, yeah, 107 years old and, and you're still out here. People are looking at the, just the history. And the history hasn't changed. It's, it's still here and, and people, it, like I said, the generations are loving the stories of it. And, and hearing them then tell their you know, family and friends that they bring out here, that's exciting for us too, that knowing it's not, that it's, that it's living on in multiple generations. I think that's really cool. I just, we had last week, I had people from Australia, I get people from Europe. Yeah, there's, there's not one thing and, and they know the stories. We can talk about the bullet holes up there. We can talk about, yeah, the burn holes, the ghost stories, because we, we have the ghost stories also. And it, yeah, we have people from all over the world that and they almost, they almost tell me what they have, what they heard, their experiences out here and just even over the years. It's, it's exciting. It's kept its, uh, its unique mark out here for sure. Everything out here, it kind of takes you back in a time. It's, you know, being around, we're close to Vegas, all the newness, the lights, the glamour and all that. This is really holding back to the early 1900s out here. We have the double doors right there. Even opening those things, you can just feel almost age with that one. You know, they're creakly, they make a lot of noise. And yeah, when people walk in here and just and look around and just even the ceilings, the walls, just the old, the old bar, it's, you can kind of see them putting themselves back in the day, what that looked like, the feel of it. And it's, you can almost see the excitement really in their face of what am I really looking at? You know, taking it all in. I, you see people look for a few minutes and then they almost retake a look and then they really notice that everything is, is, is pretty much in the original phase that it started. You know, like I said, back to even the register, you're like, I didn't even recognize that. So that is just, you know, seeing them take in the bar, the experience is just, Everything about it, it's their eyes just as they walk around it, it just it's like a dazed look, but excited look the whole time. It's it's fun seeing it too. So this part was built in 1860 and it was sent over and it was actually, you can kind of see little spots right here. They was actually done by the Brunswick, which was the old pool table as I think we're most uh, familiar with. And this was shipped over on actually a train. This was railed here back in the day. So this was uh, actually two different pieces that they brought over here. And you can also see the little, the little inlays. Those were all done back to the same thing early. Yeah, early 1800s, those, those uh, glass were all built back then. This is the original footstool that they had on this. It's completely brass. You can see it's, it's had a few feet on here for sure. A lot of stories on there. But yeah, this is actually the original brass on there and still holding up. Still holding up surprisingly. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'd like to bring back the bar a little bit. I think it needs to bring back to what's, what's new and I guess from old glory of it. Yeah, to, to kind of, everybody loves looking at it, but there's no reason to kind of, to pretty it up, put a little uh, put a little lipstick on her, I think is what we like to say. But yeah, I think, you know, bring it back to give it a little bit of life is kind of what the place is, is looking for, needs a little bit, a little love. That pot belly stove, yeah, that's that's an original from here. And this baby heats up this entire, place. it gets hot. And it's amazing how people absolutely love it. They're so excited to put fire in these big pot belly stoves. But then yeah, you can see our uh, cash register over there. And that was actually from also department stores. So you have your four drawers that they have. And, and if you look at that entire top part of it is all brass. I mean, everything was hand done, you know, things that were done really right back in the day. It's, it's a, there are a lot of beautiful old pieces back here that were, you know, trying to bring back to, to just, it's old glory, I guess, is really what we're trying to do. It's just one of those, you come out here and you really feel like you're you're not in Vegas. It's it's just, it's a unique experience every single time out here. And it's, can't say it's just bikers or razors. You get guys out here in suits and it's the most diverse crowd out here. It's super fun, it's exciting. Thanks, Nate. 